All right, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to concatenate strings together. It's pretty easy, but uh, I'll just show you how to do that real quick. So to concatenate strings together, all you have to do is then put a plus sign between them. See, all that does. I have this string test and test2, and I do test plus test2. You see there's a little space here on the end, and uh, it adds those two together and makes one string and prints it out. See, if I didn't have that space there, then it would show up as cool Java, just one word. So I add that space like that. You can also do it like this, too. just print out test 3. So, pretty simple way of concatenating strings together. Um, one thing you want to look out for is um, adding strings and numbers together because uh, sometimes you'd be expecting another number and uh, not realize it. I'll show you that little pitfall real quick. Now, if you weren't paying attention, you might think test2 plus test would be 14. Here's what happens. Whenever you add a string, whenever you add a string object to any, pretty much any primitive, which is what this int is, it will, the primitive will turn into a string as well, and it will concatenate them together. So you end up with 7 and 7 scrunched up right next to each other. Test, it's test 2, test is 7. It, it, turn, it automatically turns this into a string and concatenates it with this. So you have to watch out for things like that if you're expecting um, the right number to come out. And uh, that's just one little pitfall right there. All right, now I'll show you a little bit about how to use unary operators. explain this to you real quick. Basically, this test equals test plus one will make, uh, obviously, uh, the test variable equal to six. Now, this test two variable 
is basically doing the exact same thing to itself. This line is equal to this line. All this does is add 1 to the test2 variable, and I'll prove that to you here. We'll print out tests and test2. So see, you have 6. Uh, 6 comes out for test, and 6 comes out for test 2. So um, what that's useful for is later on you'll be doing um, what's called loops. And it's just a little bit quicker to put this in there rather than have to write out this whole thing. That's basically all it is. Um, but I went ahead and showed you that just so you'll know if you ever see it. And the same thing goes with minus minus as well. It's exactly the same as um, the variable equals the variable minus 1. And you end up with 4 and 4. Okay. And we pretty much see how that works. And um, now I'll show you how to use the log logical operator, um, which pretty much looks like an exclamation point. Okay. This one's really simple. All this exclamation point does it's used against a Boolean variable or against an expression that returns a, a Boolean variable. Um, so you have true here, and this will print out true, and the bottom one will print out false, because all it does is basically return the inverse of what's there. See? Pretty simple. And um, that's all that does. Sometimes you'll have the, the different expressions, more complicated expressions that will return true and false. And um, what you do is that you, you just put this um, exclamation point and it would return the opposite. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see the usefulness of this now, but later on as you do more programming you'll be able to understand that better and uh, do more of it. Alright, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.